All right, guys, here we go. So the next step in this roof that we're building, posts. We're wrapping these posts. So the idea here of what's happening, I'll show you the, uh, the knee brace, and then I'm also gonna show you the wrap and how I went about this. So ultimately, this is what we're gonna do. This is what we're gonna create over there on that post in the middle. But the reason why, you see it doesn't go all the way to the bottom here. So I'm going to be going around it with the stone a little bit wider. Um, well, anyway, this one and that one are gonna have counters uh, that are gonna cover them, but these are gonna have stone, a cap, and then a, um, a stack stone uh, underneath of it that we're gonna be building. So I only nearly needed to go about six feet down, roughly, and then that'll be covered up with stone. So we're gonna come over here. I got these already cut, so what I ended up doing, and there's a number of ways to go about this. These are six by six posts, so five and a half, five and a half, roughly, right? It's wood, and it's gonna vary a little bit. So I have six by six, or uh, one by six cedar, which is actually three quarter by five and a half. And then I have the, uh, the one by eight. So what you do, I'll show you kind of on this one, what we're looking at here. So you get the one by six that fits on the face of this, and you wanna make it as even as possible to both of the outer sides of the post. The one by eight, is really seven and a quarter, I believe. Um, but we got that on here. Now, it has been different. There's a couple ways you can do this. Um, you can trim it down, because it is gonna be a little bit wider, and I'll show you what that looks like when we get to, uh, to doing that post. But it's gonna be a little bit wider than when you have both of these uh, other face pieces on. Um, so you could either fur out a piece. This is roughly a quarter inch or so fur out on one of the sides. Um, but what I've been doing is I've actually been cutting them um, just because of how this is all laying out. Some pieces are wider, some pieces are shorter. Just for, for how I want to go about it, I'm actually going to be trimming off with a table saw um, down one side of it here. And I'll show you how we go about that as well. Um, again, you could fur it out. And if that's your preferred method, definitely go for it. This is how I've been finding easiest to do. Up at the top here, I have been trimming all, all of these. Um, so this is the bracket that's going here and around on the face. Um, this is an L bracket, um, but I have been cutting these out all the way around. Um, I think it look, it's looking uh, pretty darn good. Um, and then I've been using both construction adhesive, wood construction adhesive, and a finishing nailer, because these fin these finish nailers, nails, these aren't going to be the best hold, especially outside in weather conditions, sun and rain. Cedar does like to, to kind of to warp out a little bit when it's this thin. Um, so I've been going both methods to try to hold it uh, flat as possible with as much uh, as I can get. And I don't want to put a big headed nail in it because you're going to see all of those. These will be easily covered up. Um, with some wood and some sawdust mixed together. You can kind of fill them back in the holes, uh, wipe it away, stain it, and never know it was there. But there we go. So that's what they look like. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna knock this one out. I've already cut the two uh, face pieces. So these, I put on the side that do, does not have the bracket. So we're gonna take these, show you how these go on. These are really easy, really straightforward. You just wanna line them up. Let's go ahead, set you down here.
All right, so these do two things. Clamps, huge help when you're doing it by yourself. It's gonna hold it on and it's also gonna compress the board into the construction adhesive, causing it to get a better uh, or a closer um, connection to the post, uh, really flattening out all of the, uh, the adhesive, um, making sure it gets a good, nice, tight bond. So we got that piece. Next, we have, uh, I believe these are two inch, um, 18 gauge uh, finishing nails. And when I'm shooting them in, I'm typically giving a little bit of a, of a toenail here. So instead of going straight in, I'm going to the side, to the side. That's gonna give it a little bit better grab. I'm just going down. I've already preset this to be in the middle as possible. I do like to throw a couple extra here in the bottom. And I guess it's a nice set. Go up to the top, make sure we got some of the top here as well. All right, so now the next step. So we have our one by eight here, our cedar. Um, and the first step that I've been doing, so if you want to copy, and if you have the brackets like I have on mine, the first step is we got to cut an opening for the bracket. So what we have to do is we have to look and we have to see where does that bracket end on, on each side as we're doing this. So let me get a good eye on it. Well, right there and over here we're about right there now something else you got to account for with these brackets this weld so it's bigger on some than others but this hangs down if you want this to sit flush you need to cut out for the weld on each side. So to do that, again, you're gonna eyeball. You see, okay, here's the end of the weld, about right here. And it's about, oh, it's about a quarter of an inch on that side, roughly. It's not gonna make a big difference if it's off. It won't be super noticeable, but you do need to do this. There we go. So that's our first step. We have that marked. Now I have it held on here, but just one of these. So let me go ahead and remove that. And it's gonna come back down. Now one thing I, I wanted to, to mention to you too, when you do that, you are lining up one side of the board to be perfectly flush. If you're not furring out a side, you need to make sure that it's as flush as, as you can get it all the way up on one side. For me, it was this side all the way down. The other side had the overhang. Reason being, if you cut out that out of this and you haven't done that, you're gonna be off one way or the other and it's not gonna sit correctly on the post. So now, we're gonna bring this over here. Let's throw this up here. And the next step, which I have previously done, is I have a, I created a template for the bracket. So for each one of these, I marked the edges here. I take my template, I bring it in, set it in between there, as straight up and down as you can possibly get it. A little wider here is, is okay. Um, it's not gonna be a perfect fit every time. But we're going to take that and we're going to run it down. Same thing on this side, run it down. And, the, and my post cap has these cuts, so I also created that. So she should fit pretty darn well. 
Now I'm gonna take, in my case, I have a jigsaw that I'm gonna be using to cut these out. I make my weld for cut out first. Now when you're doing this, I did find that using this thinner blade helps a lot for turning um, when you need to do the cuts. So just a little tip for you. All right, that is step one done. So first step, creating a pocket. For the brace or the column cap. There we go. And now I need to, again, secure it in place. Making sure that this side, the side that I use to cut this right here, as open as I can, or as close as I can here. So let's bring it down. I am gonna secure the top and bottom. Okay, now that we've got that, and we've got it as flush as possible there on that side, we're gonna to come to this side, and you see I have a good bit of an overlap here on this one. So I'm using the post, the existing wood here, to scribe a line where I'm gonna cut. I'm just gonna follow that straight down. A little nasty spot. All right, boom, and there we go. She's all put together for now until I get the caulking, but we got ourselves a wrapped post. All the way up. Look at that. Absolutely dead on there. Done. I'm gonna complete this one, and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna be doing these uh, these knee braces, installing those. These are cut for a 90 corner, right? So you got a 90 degree corner here. That means each other each of the sides are gonna be a 45 degree cut. Because what you're doing is a triangle. You're completing 180 degrees in total. So you got your 90. You get your 45 there, 45 there, 90, 45, 45 is 180. So we'll go ahead, kind of the same thing we've done, we've done with this here, this uh, this corner support. We're just coming down and doing them here. So I'm going to complete this this last post, and we'll get to putting the knee braces on.
uh, the next step in the process. So we'll turn it around here and the bracing, we're gonna do some knee braces or angle braces, post to beam braces uh, from the beam, obviously to the post. It's gonna go right here. So now you can do this in any sort of uh, fashion. I'm doing just 45, 45. All you need to do is make sure that the angle of the brace from the beam to the post, the angles that you cut the brace need to equal 90 degrees because that's what you're making up here is this 90 here. You're gonna make a triangle and that dictates from here to here, need to add to be 90. Um, depending on if you want more of a brace to sit lower but further on the beam or to articulate out, go more of a a straight uh, a straight past or a straight through um, from one side to the other, uh, more of a parallel or a, excuse excuse me a uh, whatever kind of triangle that's called, I forget. Um, but anyway, so what we're gonna do? So I laid it out on the this is a, um, a four by six, ten foot long, um, and then doing my measurements. With this cut coming to our first cut right here, I'm going 34 inches. A 34 inch knee brace gets you one, two, three, four knee braces out of one 10 foot long board. And then you have just a little bit of scrap left. So I did a, a couple different scenarios of this, ran it through with a square, a speed square, and just kind of marked out, okay, if I did it this long, how much would I end up with? Ultimately, 34 is what I came up with on a 10 foot long. So you get four, I need 11 of them total. I have three uh, total 10 foot long four by sixes. So that gets me 12, I'll have one left over. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and do now, and we're going to start cutting the knee braces. All right, and there we go. We've got the knee brace cut out. Now to go see how she fits. All right, now for the, the knee braces here. I'll do one of, one of them here, but I wanted to show real quick. Make sure let's grab that. All right, so three things you're gonna need, or at least two. You're gonna need a bit, a wood bit. I have this one longer to get through. Um, so first thing here, what you're gonna to wanna to do, and I use this kind of as a rough guide, but a 45 degree angle, because you wanna make it through this piece of meat, in throughout that piece, into the, uh, into the, in the beam that it's going into. I've marked them out. I decided to go back a little bit, so about three quarters of an inch back, about 45 degree angle because that 45 degree angle here means that it's going straight into the beam uh, with how these are gonna sit. So we'll drill these two holes out. One right there. Similarly, one, you want them in the middle. You can mark it out if you want. 45. Now, since it's a little deeper here, I'm gonna take a longer bit real quick, zip it in, zip it out. And then what I'm doing is I'm recessing the bolt. So I'm using a three quarter inch bit, which is the exact same size as the head of the leg screw that we're gonna be putting in. All right, 
that we got all those set. We're going to drive in the bits or the uh, putting these up you're gonna to want to find the angle in which obviously both of these this and this is flat with this and the post so just gonna take it find the right groove okay there we go fully sat looks good on both sides now come down here make sure that this is about in the middle of the post down here there we go I'm gonna drive in your other leg We're going to do that the same, the same place, there, there, and there, and there, and we'll have all the bracing up. And there we go. We got this corner bracing up. That one's set. That one's set. Bracing is done.